Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? I thought you'd never ask. Let's do the whole darn weekend. Saturday, March the 7th, is National Be Heard Day. Huh? It's also Mm -hmm. National Cereal Day. Ooh, I love cereal. Uh, National Crown of Pork Roast Day as well, or or Crown of Roast Pork, rather. Uh, All of that going on Saturday. March the 8th, number uh, 8th day of March is uh, (laughs) Sunday, International Women's Day. I am a professional broadcaster. (laughs) A little glitch there in my brain. (laughs) National Oregon Day. It is also National Peanut Cluster Day. National Proofreading Day, which I probably (laughs) should have celebrated. And Daylight Savings Time. Yeah, it's all going on this weekend. Um, I also have a guest on the program. Uh, Christina Kuzmich is the author of a new book called Hold On, But Don't Hold Still. And she's a mommy blogger, and she's a comedian, and she's just an all-around awesome lady. And we're going to be chatting with Christina coming up. If you grew up in the 70s, 80s, and 90s, you should consider joining us for this amazing vacation. My wife and I have been to this event the last three years, and we've had a blast. Join us at The Sands. Hear amazing music from Billy Idol. Cheap Trick. Belinda Carlisle. Little River Band. The Hooters. Tesla. Howard Jones. And many more. Plus, meet awesome stars from movies and TV. It's the best week ever. Learn more right now at thesands.rocks. That's thesands.rocks. Now, surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. A new survey found three in four parents think they're better parents than their parents were. Do you think we're better parents than our parents were, Heidi? Didn't you just ask me this the other day? Yeah, but I didn't ask you on the air. I'm putting you in the spotlight now. Oh, I think I had really good parents. There you go. So, no. Right. (laughs) <laughs> and I will just uh, move on. Thanks for listening to Surveys and Studies and Such, brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Not all credit cards are created equally. Some cards have higher rates, some have annual fees, some are just not very good. Often people will sign up for these because that's all they qualify for. But if you've done that, it may be time to get a better credit card. Over time, your situation can change. Then you could qualify for a better credit card, one that offers you a better rate, or one that offers miles, points, cash back, or whatever is the best fit for you. Check it out for free at BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. This is your Brain on Drugs, brought to you by TimeForRehab.com. A Florida woman is accused of running over her boyfriend with a golf cart after a day of bar (laughs) hopping. This happened on Pine (laughs) Island. What? Lee County Sheriff's Office arrested 37-year-old Melanie Gieske Michalinski. I might have got some of that wrong. Uh, They got into a a fight Saturday at uh, a saloon. Deputies found the victim, had road rash, looked like, like his shoulder was dislocated. Uh, She denied knowing how it happened. The victim was taken to the hospital. He'll be okay. (laughs) She was arrested for aggravated battery. The victim told deputies this is not the first domestic problem, and he plans on pressing charges. So and hopefully breaking up. Yeah, that's not a good thing. Don't don't do that. Uh, uh, I encourage you to not run people over with (laughs) golf carts. Just so you know. But that is what happens when your brain is on drugs. Now, big screen, little screen, brought to you by ChannelSurferTV.com. J-Lo, also known as Jennifer Lopez, yes, uh, she, she told Oprah Winfrey she was disappointed that she didn't get nominated for an Oscar. Of course she was. Well, wouldn't we all be a little disappointed? Hey. Like, well, I think, I, I'm always disappointed when I don't get nominated Heidi, have Oscars. you ever been nominated? I have not, and Are it's you a travesty. You were a star of a movie, Deary. Deary. Yeah. I was. I was also Not a in single that, nod. I was also in that movie with a leading role, and guess what? Guess how many Oscars I have? None. Only four. It's not even fair. <laughs> you okay, did I not. Did. Not I a did. single one. Oh, Oscar Meyer doesn't count. No. Uh, MSNBC host Chris Matthews uh, is done. He's being accused of inappropriately flirting with a female guest now as well. So they're like, oh, this guy's... It's like when it rains, it pours, man. Meghan Markle is trying to, according to the story, reportedly trying to land a role in a Hollywood blockbuster. So she's going, hey, we got to pay rent. (laughs) I'm no longer a princess. And a leaked text message shows that Johnny Depp threatened to drown and burn Amber Heard and then do something naughty to her corpse, according to a text. It's what oh it says. Gosh. Yeah, it's a text from Johnny Depp. I mean, who are you going to believe, Nasty. me or the internet? 
Or I guess I read it from the internet. All right. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. Drinking too much can ruin your life. Alcohol and drug issues can cause problems at work, at home, and pretty much everywhere. If substance abuse has taken over your life and you want to quit, there is help. Timeforrehab.com could be the first step in the right direction for you. Timeforrehab.com would love to help you find a new life beyond addiction. Your insurance company may even cover the cost to help make this happen. You can learn more now at timeforrehab.com. That's timeforrehab.com. Now your scoop of the day brought to you by FunkyMonkeyShirts.com. Britney Spears shared a video of the moment that her foot broke during rehearsal. Ouch. Mm-hmm. Can you imagine breaking your foot? I think I might have broken my foot at one I point. I know. I, I think I broke my ankle, not yeah. my foot. But Yeah, it's yeah. had a lot of pain in a foot for a long time, and it's better now, except for when it's going to rain. <laughs> 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 it must be getting ready to rain. My weather foot's telling me so. <laughs> a CNN survey found that 38% of Americans will no longer drink Corona beer because of all the news oh, that has nothing that to do such a, with th- Corona there's beer. There's no way that's 38% accurate. 38% of Americans. That can't be accurate. Well, Can that be accurate? It's People from are CNN. Not that. How could you not believe okay, it? Okay, well, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, New York State Senate has passed a bill that allows for liquor-infused ice cream. That's interesting. Mm. Never heard of such a thing. I wonder how that would taste. Um, Sophie Turner told Elle magazine that she thought Joe Jonas was a, well, I can't say on the radio, before she met him. Now they're like dating or married or something, aren't they? I don't. She didn't. We'll just say this. She she wasn't instantly attracted to him. We'll put it that way. Okay. Scientists at the Allen Institute of Artificial Intelligence claim that supercomputers are on the verge of destroying civilization. So you're saying that uh, we got these supercomputers that are getting way too smart. Meanwhile, we're making them even smarter. Yeah. I mean, there have been movies and movies and movies yeah. done about this sort of thing. Why are we continuing down this path? Because we're like, look, at we can make this thing do. And uh, you're like, yeah, we can make it take over civilization. So I don't know. Maybe just calm down on some of the automation stuff. Here's a really weird story. Researchers at the University of Pittsburgh say a woman there suffers from a condition that causes her to urinate pure alcohol. What a weird condition that would be. So they're not sure why, but this is what's happening. I've got a link to the story. You're looking at me like I should explain it. I don't know. I just want to find out what's causing it. You know how I much do- money I could Would save? You just stop it. <laughs> no, no. Um, the uh, U.S. has signed a peace deal with the Taliban, putting an end to our nation's longest war. America is poised to pull all of our troops out of Afghanistan. The Taliban is no longer allowed to harbor terrorists in Afghanistan. So Beautiful. That's an interesting story. That's wonderful. It is. And one final story for the day, Heidi. Uh, prototype of SpaceX, new Starship Super Rocket, blew up during a pre-launch last Friday. So... They were doing a little pressure test to see how it would do, yeah. and it exploded. I do well. Yeah. So, uh, well, there you go. Now you know. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. Introducing InsuranceChicken.com. <laughs> Why InsuranceChicken.com? Why not? Another insurance company has a duck, one has an emu, and that other company has a lizard. So insurancechicken.com is no more silly than any of those. Is it time for you to cross the road for your insurance? Don't be chicken. Check out insurancechicken.com. We'll help you peck out the best insurance rates we can find at insurancechicken.com. That's insurancechicken.com. Our guest today is Christina Kuzmich. She has a new book out called Hold On, But Don't Hold Still. Christina, how you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? Very good. Now, first of all, you're very funny. You are a comedian. You're a mommy blogger. You're an author. How in the world does one get started in doing all of that stuff? Um, I have no idea. To be honest, it's such a whirlwind. <laughs> no, I basically went through a really hard time after uh, my divorce. I stepped into a deep depression. I was broke. I couldn't even afford a mattress for myself. I slept on the floor and shared a small room with my kids. And a lot of struggling through that because nothing happens overnight. And then when I got to a better place, I just felt this need to be for others what I needed when I was at my lowest. And what I needed was a lot of hope and a lot of humor. I needed to laugh, and I needed to know that whatever I was going through was not permanent. So that's what I try to do through my videos, whether they're funny or whether I open up in a vulnerable way about, you know, my own stories. I just, I really want to make that person who is right now struggling the way I was know that life can surprise you in the worst of ways, but it can also surprise you in the best of ways. That is awesome. Now, you're from Croatia. Where do you live nowadays? 
I live in the Los Angeles area. And that's got to be quite a bit different than where you grew up, isn't it? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I moved to America at 14. I was a freshman in high school, moved to Massachusetts, and, you know, had major culture shock. I actually write about that in the in the book, because we came during the war. So, you know, my friends were at home in Croatia, were in basements, making sure they wouldn't get murdered, and I'm all of a sudden in this rich country, you know, deciding what outfit to wear to the school dance. And so there's a lot of survivor guilt there. And, you know, I didn't fit in, which I think that just made me a better 40-something-year-old now. Yeah. <laughs> um, not fitting in when I was a teen. I think it's good for us to go through those things. But, yeah, it was a big culture shock. So in the book, Hold On But Don't Hold Still, Hope and Humor from My Seriously Flawed Life kind of tells your background, where you've been, and then gives people some inspiration. So even if they're going through something tough, they can realize that there's something brighter ahead, right? Absolutely. I mean, I, I tell a lot of stories in the book, but some of the ones that are heavier were about the time when I was really depressed and a single mom, and I actually had a list of pros and cons of how much suicide would affect my kids. And the list of pros, meaning they'll be better off without me, was longer than the cons list, which breaks my heart to you know, think about now. But I have to realize that I had to stop waiting for this or that to happen before my life would get better. I had to change my attitude. I had to change my perspective. I had to, you know, not let the few things that are completely out of my control control me completely. And I, you know, I write in the book about all the, all the little steps I took, all the tiny little, you know, tools that I already had that I use that I feel like anybody can use. Uh, to get to a place where I no, lo- I no longer hate myself, I no longer hate my life, I think I'm actually pretty amazing, flawed as can be, I make mistakes daily, but I am confident in my dysfunction, I guess. <laughs> so I, I, really, I really believe we all have it. There's nothing more special about me than anybody else. So I hope the book will help people out. That's that- the whole point. That is awesome. Now, in, in the past, you've had some really cool things happen as well. You had uh, the opportunity to be Oprah's search for the next TV star. You were the winner of that. Out of 15,000 people, you were chosen. Yes. That's pretty darn cool. Oh, my goodness. We also, to put in perspective, that happened like two or three years after I went through that whole thing where I was sleeping on a floor and, you know, couldn't even afford to be basics for my kids. So to now, a couple of years later, after working my butt off to crawl out of that, you know, miserable state, have Oprah giving me a show and she gave me a car. It's just, it's insane. Life is crazy. And I think it's awesome that you let people know that, hey, you've got good times now, but you, you've been through some bad times. So when we're going through something bad, just remember that good things could be just around the corner. Yes. Here's a tip I give. Add right now to whatever's happening, you know, because otherwise you feel like it's all permanent. So, you know, I'm really depressed right now. Uh, this divorce is just so painful right now. My teenager hates me right now. If you just start adding right now to whatever is frustrating you or difficult, it takes away the permanence and makes you realize that tomorrow could be a completely different day. But the thing is, and that's what the title of the book says, hold on but don't hold still, right? A lot of us just sit and wait passively. No one's going to show up at your door, you know, with happiness. You can't Amazon Prime that stuff. So you have to you have to be proactive. Don't hold still. Be proactive and take the steps you need to get to a better place. Awesome advice. Thank you so much for taking the time to chat. Thank you so much for having me. Again, the book is called Hold On But Don't Hold Still, Hope and Humor from My Seriously Flawed Life. Our guest has been the author of that book, Christina Kuzmich. I'll throw a link to it in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. If you grew up in the 70s, 80s, and 90s, you should consider joining us for this amazing vacation. My wife and I have been to this event the last three years, and we've had a blast. Join us at The Sands. Hear amazing music from Billy Idol. Cheap Trick. Belinda Carlisle. Little River Band. The Hooters. Tesla. Howard Jones. And many more. Plus, meet awesome stars from movies and TV. It's the best week ever. Learn more right now at thesands.rocks. That's thesands.rocks. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Babies are physical anomalies. It says babies, particularly newborn babies, are surprisingly different from the children they grow up to be. When they're born, their heads account for a quarter of their full body weight, and the size of their brain will double in the first year. Babies have 300 bones and around 10,000 taste buds all over their mouth. Some of the bones will fuse together as they age because uh, they go from 300 bones right. to how many as an adult? Do you know? Do you know? Huh? Is, it a, is it 200 and something or 100? 206. And yeah, good job. Um, and it says taste buds on the tongue will eventually vanish. Most of them will. So. 
the ones that are not on the tongue. So they have uh, other areas with taste buds all over their mouth, oh, and then okay. they go away. So there you go. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, I've got that. It's today's fun fact. Not all credit cards are created equally. Some cards have higher rates. Some have annual fees. Some are just not very good. Often people will sign up for these because that's all they qualify for. But if you've done that, it may be time to get a better credit card. Over time, your situation can change. Then you could qualify for a better credit card, one that offers you a better rate, or one that offers miles, points, cash back, or whatever is the best fit for you. Check it out for free at BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. Now, a news headline from somewhere in this world, Dateline, the Vatican. Pope Francis implored the faithful to give up something in particular for Lent. Do you know what that was? What? Insulting people on social media. I think that's a good idea for everybody. Even if you don't give things up for Lent, we should all just take a break and say, let's not insult anybody on social media, you dummies. (laughs) <laughs> See what I just did there? No, I, th- I think it's a good idea for everybody to do that, to just take a step back and uh, be nice to one another. Give it a whirl. See how it goes. Hashtag Pompous Pontus. Would you just... <laughs> wow. A news headline. <laughs> Is that lightning striking you right now? What's going on over there? <laughs> a news headline from somewhere in this world. Drinking too much can ruin your life. Alcohol and drug issues can cause problems at work, at home, and pretty much everywhere. If substance abuse has taken over your life and you want to quit, there is help. Timeforrehab.com could be the first step in the right direction for you. Timeforrehab.com would love to help you find a new life beyond addiction. Your insurance company may even cover the cost to help make this happen. You can learn more now at timeforrehab.com. That's timeforrehab.com. Now some weird news brought to you by weirdgiftoftheday.com. Homeowners used to take pride in repairing and maintaining their home all by themselves, but a new survey of 2,000 young British adults find many of them don't even know how to do things. As simple as changing a light bulb. Oh, wow. Some respondents admitted to simply leaving a dead light bulb in place for more than three weeks before finally mustering up courage to ask somebody to help them. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, other simple fixes that they can't accomplish alone are putting up wallpaper, draining a radiator, painting and tightening uh, loose cabinet doors. Oh, my gosh. Less than 25% of survey participants would call themselves even good at DIY. 13%. 13%. So one in eight flat out said, I'm poor at this. I have no idea how this works. It says here, uh, one third of millennials seek out help on the easiest household chores, mostly because they're sure they would mess it up if they even tried it oh on their Oh my own. gosh. So 2,000 young British adults. I wonder how that uh, is everywhere. Right. I, I... I just thought that was very weird. That's why it's today's Weird News. Now, your moment of duh, brought to you by singlestudentloan.com. Parents have long fought the losing battle of stopping their kids from playing video games. But this guy came up with a plan. He said, uh, these parents in the United Kingdom said, hey, we got a plan. Our 11-year-old, you want to play video games, driving a car? How about you hop behind the wheel, young man? So they thought that would stop him from playing uh, GTA. You know what that stands for? Grand Theft Auto. Yeah. I couldn't think of it, so I'm glad you knew. <laughs> uh, this says here that they, they stopped a red vehicle in a car park, which is like a parking lot. Right. They discovered behind the wheel was an 11-year-old. Yeah, 11. Oh, my God. A family member was fed up with him playing Grand Theft Auto all day, and they brought him out to practice driving a real car. The adult has been reported, reported for traffic offenses. A recent mm-hmm. survey showed... 86%, 86% of parents say their kids play games, quote, an excessive amount, end quote. So uh, don't think that's the way to get them to quit, by the way. Just saying so you no. Know. Just throwing that out there. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. Introducing InsuranceChicken.com. <laughs> Why InsuranceChicken.com? Why not? Another insurance company has a duck, one has an emu, and that other company has a lizard. So insurancechicken.com is no more silly than any of those. Is it time for you to cross the road for your insurance? Don't be chicken. Check out insurancechicken.com. We'll help you peck out the best insurance rates we can find at insurancechicken.com. That's insurancechicken.com. Now, fake news or Florida? Heidi, tell me, is this a true story from the great state of Florida, or is it hashtag fake news? Just to, made up just to trick you. Okay. <laughs> I keep trying to figure out how to say that, and I don't think I did it right there either. Um, uh, fake news or Florida? 
Tallahassee police say a house cat started a fire by spilling a glass of whiskey on a gas stove. Fake news or Florida? I'm going to say fake uh, news. You are going to be correct. Yeah. yeah, that was fake news. If it would have been uh, something like Everclear, would you have believed that? No. Mm. See, I don't know. I, I, I could see that happening. But apparently it didn't because this has been <laughs> fake news. It did not. Not Florida. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show. John and Heidi. This portion of the John and Heidi Show is brought to you by the John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying the John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. We always like to wrap things up around here with good news. And by golly, Heidi, I think this is good news. Okay. Comes your way courtesy of bettercreditcards.com. And here's the headline. Batman artist creates get well soon drawing for 12-year-old recovering from brain surgery. Uh, this 12-year-old boy that's recovering got a really cool get well soon message from his favorite comic book hero. Says uh, message reached Anthony after his uncle Ryan reached out to Marvel and DC Comics on Twitter. And uh, I see there's several really cool messages here. So at first just reached out like, Tagged these people and said, hey, my 12-year-old's a huge fan. Just had an emergency brain surgery. It'd be ecstatic if a hero out there could maybe uh, give him a little shout-out. So there's some really cool ones like uh, Ryan Reynolds. Oh, wow. He says, I'm on it. What's his name? And uh, he gave his name. And then he says, check your DMs. And the DMs was uh, this message from wow. the, the artist who created Batman or that's like drawing it. And it was a personal drawing for this 12-year-old oh, that's from so Michael great. Jannon. And it says, hey, buddy, I heard you had some surgery. Been there too, but no worries. We are tough heroes. And it says, take care and get well soon, Jannon. And it's a picture of Batman. And it is so cool. That's super cool. It says, comic book writer Tom King sent an inspiring panel from The Dark Knight as well. And there's just, you, you can scroll through and see. Uh, Mark Hamill is another one who reached out. Wow. Uh, it says, uh, Anthony's uncle Ryan has been filled with joy while reading all these messages for his nephew. That is so impressive. Yeah, it's very, very cool. I've got a link to the story and you can see all the tweets and all the stuff. It's in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great day. Thank you so much for listening to the John and Heidi Show.